Rihanna. Hi. Oh my god, hi. <laughs> it's been so long. I know, how are you? At this current moment in time, whilst these words are leaving my lips, I can safely say that I wish I was in a state of complete neutrality, but I'm not, which seems a bit crazy. I'm trying to focus on your face whilst at the same time thinking of what I'm gonna say. And at the same time, I can't help noticing that you've got a couple of hairs between your eyebrows that I'm wondering if you forgot to pluck, or maybe you haven't noticed, or maybe you don't actually care. Or you're going to your eyebrow appointment today. Also, I have the beginnings of a headache, but I'll probably forget about that in a few minutes because we tend to pick up on these things and then get distracted. Also, I'm kind of craving prawn crackers, don't ask me why. But either way, these things can wait because I'm about to engage in a conversation with you and I'm sort of preparing myself for this because we've got a lot of catching up to do. How am I? Yes, that's how I am in this exact moment of time, but really your question is very broad. It's only three words, but these three words aim to accumulate information about the past three weeks or months depending on my relationship with you and how often we see each other. Now, I haven't seen you about six months, that is. So I'm going to go with the last three months because any longer and that will bore you and even three months is hard to condense into a nutshell. How am I? How am I? How am I still here? <laughs> That's a good question, and I ask myself that all the time actually. How am I coping? Well, we've all got a lot on our plate. I'm coping quite well considering the amount of work I've got. I would say coping is an interesting word though, because at what moment are you not coping? Is there a specific point at which the ability to cope crumbles? I'm quite a positive person, hence I'm coping. I'm coping well, rather. Although touch base with me in a couple of months and I'll update you. <laughs> it will be a couple of months, because although we'll try to arrange to meet up before then, inevitably it will fail. How am I? Not what am I, how am I? How am I like this? How is it that I am? It is the time, happy certain hours of the day, it rises and falls. Tired is the overarching emotion 99% of the time. Hungry, hungry is very much featured. I would go as far as to say that hungry is becoming a part of my personality. It is that I am distracted. There are approximately 103 thoughts circulating in my brain at one time, which means that I am often not sure of how it is that I am in certain moments because I can't actually focus on how it is that I am. Angry, nuclear weapons are not what I would like money to be spent on personally. Sort of restless, wanting things to change, also not wanting things to change. So a bit conflicted, how am I? Like this? It's a combination of many, many things, my friend. I'm a combination of all that has come before me. I feel like that's a quote, but I could be wrong. I could be confusing it with another quote or maybe an idea. A memory is a very fascinating thing, and although we can remember things that happened a long, long time ago, sometimes we can't even remember things that happened the other day. So I might have just get telling you about what I did this so we can focus on what I've been doing in general. Working, seeing friends, not you, of course. Eating, wanting to eat, treating my infected toe, scrolling on my phone, traveling from one place to another. But how am I? Not what have I been doing, right? How am I? How is it? That I am like this? Okay, it's a combination of all the things that I've talked about that have brought me to this point. Well, I am not neutral, but maybe I should say that I am neutral just to save myself from having to say all of this to you. Because realistically, you don't actually care and you're thinking more about what you're going to say while I'm saying all of the things that I'm saying to you. Plus, depending on what I say, you will focus on something in particular and then we'll change direction. And I won't end up saying what else I was going to say about how it is that I am. So in reality, we should just focus on one aspect of my life. Instead of asking a broad question that relates to the entirety of my being and state as a human, which I can't even unpack because technically the phrase doesn't make grammatical sense. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> you?